Hello and welcome to this lecture on the MSc in Engineering course we offer in the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering at Trinity College Dublin. My name is Lee Wen Sell. I'm an assistant professor in Environmental Engineering and the director of the MSc in Engineering program. In this presentation, I will introduce the MSc in Engineering course structure and content and explain why you should choose MSc in Engineering at Trinity College Dublin and what are the admission requirements. The MSc in Engineering is designed to offer postgraduate students the opportunity to obtain a specialist qualification in one of the four areas of the civil engineering discipline environmental engineering, structural and geotechnical engineering, transport engineering, and sustainable energy engineering. In addition, the course offers students the opportunity to obtain knowledge in complementary subject areas within civil engineering. This is a 90 credit postgraduate course. The course is divided into two parts, tall modules, which account for 60 credits, and a major dissertation, which account for 30 credits. The course can be completed in one year full-time or two year part-time. The full-time and part-time course have the same class. The part-time course is not available to those who require a student visa to study in Ireland. The MSc in Environmental Engineering discipline covers areas such as water, air and soil pollution, solutions to protect the environment and society, and climate change. We offer five modules in this discipline air quality and noise pollution, waste management and energy recovery, water quality and hydrological modeling, water resource management and climate change, sustainable water supply and sanitation. The embassy and structural and geotechnical engineering covers topics such as sustainability of the buildings and structural materials, earthquake, bridge design, soil structure interaction, advanced modeling and analysis of structure. We offer A modules in this discipline, geotechnical engineering, advanced structure analysis, wind and earthquake engineering, bridge engineering, advanced concrete technology, soil structure interaction, a unified theory of structure, and advanced theory of structure. In the MSc in Sustainable Energy, we cover the subjects such as energy efficiency techniques, sustainable energy technologies, and energy management systems and strategies and offer the following modules wind energy, solar energy conversion and application, energy policy and demand, and wave and hydro energy. In the MSc and transport engineering policy and planning, we cover the subjects such as transport policy, planning, design, modeling and analysis. We offer the following modules, transport policy, transportation modeling and planning, transportation data and evaluation, and transport design. In addition to the above modules offered by individual disciplines, we also offer four mandatory modules, the M1 civil engineering module, the M3 dissertation module, 
the M4 Engineering Project module and M5 Research Matter module. The M1 Civil Engineering Management module aims to provide students with some of the management tools they will need in their careers, whether it be on a construction site or in a design office. Students who complete this module will have a knowledge of project management concepts and the use of the computers in civil engineering project management. The module also covers topics such as construction contract and dispute resolution methods, industrial relations and in employment legislation, health and safety legislation, and safety management management and strategic human resources. The M3 dissertation module allows the students to complete an individual research project on the topic of a contemporary engineering research interest. The main objective of this module is to train the student to plan, execute, and report on an individual engineering research project. The M4 Engineering Project module will provide an introduction to students of the key aspects of research in engineering, research methods and design, special data collection and analysis, critical appraisal of scientific writing, and ethical and legal perspective. The M5 Research Methods module will cover the topics such as research philosophies in engineering, research in academia, research scopes and problems, characteristics of good research and choice of research topics, software training, and report writing and presentation. The module also covers the components of research proposal, literature review, research strategy, research ethics, and research access. In addition, we also offer three common modules, the facet engineering, advanced special analysis using GIS, and final element analysis. As part of the M3 module, the students will have the opportunity to carry out cutting-edge research projects on topics relevant to the areas of energy, environment, geotech, structure, and transport. In the environmental engineering discipline, the students can choose topics such as water and wastewater treatment, air quality and noise control, waste management, monitoring and impact assessment, environmental modeling, GIS and special analysis, water resource management, hydrology and hydrogeology and climate change. In the sustainable energy discipline, the students can choose one of the topics, solar wind, ocean energy, hydropower and energy from waste, energy efficiency, energy demand and energy management, energy and building, energy legislation and environment. In the structure and geotechnical engineering, the students can choose one of the following topics for their research project. At the one structure analysis, structural dynamics, earthquake engineering, bridge engineering, Facade Engineering, Geotechnical Engineering, Materials Technology, Strike Structure Interaction, Structure Durability and Sustainability, and enge Engineering Management. In the Transport Engineering, the research topics include Transportation Policy Analysis, transportation modeling and planning, 
micro and macro simulation of the traffic network, transportation design, public transport system design, and intelligent transport system. Research topics and project titles will be proposed by academic staff in the School of Engineering based on their ongoing research activities. Students may propose their own research topics if they can demonstrate adequate knowledge and experience of the field and if they can identify an appropriate academic supervisor. Overall, we offer a total of 28 modules. The students should complete four mandatory modules and eight other modules, of which at least four modules from their selected discipline, and submit a research dissertation. At the end of the course, the students should complete a total of 90 credits. For example, an uh, MSc in Environmental Engineering student can take four mandatory modules, at least four Environmental Engineering modules, and four modules from other specializations or commons. So why you should choose MSc in Engineering at Trinity College Dublin? Firstly, our degree is recognized worldwide it is a level 9 course. It is accredited by Engineers Island. The degrees is well recognized by EUS under the Bologna Declaration. The degrees is also recognized by the Washington Accord and internationally recognized by signature countries including Australia, Canada, China, India, South Africa, the UK, and the USA. Secondly, we adopt a T-shaped teaching approach. Our students have the freedom to choose some of the modules that they are interested in and good at. While the A specialized modules will provide the students with a depth of specialist knowledge and skills, the four mandatory modules we offered will provide the students a blast of complementary skills and enhance the students' employability skills and self-development skills. Third, the MSc in Engineering at Trinity College Dublin has a high reputation. It is one of the oldest MSc in engineering courses in Ireland. It attracts many international funded scholars such as Norton Fellows and Irish Aid Fellows. It attracts many part-time students from the industry. Every year, around 10% of our students are part-time students coming from the industry. The course also attracts international students from dozens of countries. Our academic staff has excellent research record. Many of them are well known in their research field. Every year, we secured millions of euro research funding and published hundreds of high-impact journal papers and reports. Our students have high level of employability. Our recent survey indicated that more than 80% of our students secured a job or started a further study three months after graduation. They work in the industry, academia, local county council, etc. Every year, we'll, we will receive hundreds of applications. A successful candidate should hold a first or second class first division honor bachelor degree or equivalent in engineering or a
cognate discipline. She graduated from a high-ranking university and provide two satisfactory reference letters and meet the English language requirement if they are if their first language is not English. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope to see you in Trinity Campus next year. Mm -hmm.